100 years ago, when South Dakota officially became a state, there were a lot of what you might consider heroes. Pioneers who made a bet with the government that they could scratch out a living on a piece of rough prairie for the right to own it. It's hard to imagine people with that kind of determination and patience in today's hurry-up, high-tech society, but every once in a while, you run across someone with that old-fashioned pioneer spirit and courage. For the past two weeks, just such an individual has been slowly traveling over the highways of South Dakota in a wheelchair, his way of celebrating the century. It brings back some memories, you know, being a little kid walking around on crutches and using the elevators and things like that. Mark Mortensen does see a reflection of himself in many of these young people when he visits his alma mater, the Crippled Children's Hospital and School in Sioux Falls. Born 28 years ago in Pierre with spina bifida, doctors didn't give Mark much of a chance for survival. Most children with that condition do not live long. But he was able to beat the odds and later transferred to public schools, graduating from Washington High in 1979 and from Southwest State in Marshall in 1984. He now manages Project Mobility in Sioux Falls, a city program serving the transportation needs of the mobily impaired. In spite of his handicap, Mark Mortensen has always been interested in athletics, not just to watch from the sidelines, but to actually take part. He got involved in wheelchair basketball at Southwest State, helping his team to win two national titles. But there was another athletic challenge Mark Mortensen wanted to try. As his personal celebration of South Dakota Centennial, Mark, with the help of several runners, would try to carry the torch for the Centennial Games all the way across South Dakota in his specially designed $1,400 racing wheelchair, a journey of 450 miles. It began in the Black Hills two weeks ago.
wasn't too bad. up to about 35 miles. I knew it wasn't going to be like a race situation where you're going all out, but uh, I think it's gone better than I figured it would. I guess I thought it was, I've always wanted to go across the state, and since the end year, I thought it would be a great year to do it. Uh, I guess it's kind of a personal thing, a personal challenge to go across the but yet, uh, you know, I think it's a neat way to celebrate the century. Mark Morrison completed his remarkable journey right on schedule. And it was only fitting that students from the Cripple Children's School were given the honor of holding the tape at the finish line. It was, after all, partly for them that he made the trip. To demonstrate that being confined to a wheelchair isn't the end of the world. I believe, Mark says, you can't let the opinions of others limit or define you. If you do, life is too painful. Some of them learning how to drive would be a, would be a milestone in their lives. Learning skills of living would be a milestone in their lives. If they get inspired to do something to fulfill some of their goals in life, yeah, that's great. Because I would like to do it someday. And we like 